In this particular lecture, let's learn how we could conditionally render a list of objects. So we already have a list of objects here and what we have done is that we have mapped through all of the objects here without kind of looking at any of the condition. But now let's say instead of looping through all the objects, let's say you only want to render those specific fruits uh, which actually has a certain criteria. So for example, you only want to render those fruits whose price is greater than $5. So let's learn how exactly to do that. So first of all, I'll go to app.js and instead of rendering the conditional component from the previous lecture, I would render the fruits component. All right, so if I go back to the browser, here we have all the fruits. Now let's say instead of displaying all the fruits here, I only want to display the fruits whose price is actually greater than five. So in order to do that, first of all, I have to go to the code which actually renders those fruits. So let me close all the other tabs here to avoid confusion. And now we have two components. One is the fruits, which is actually rendering the entire list. And we are passing in the fruits price here. Now after passing in the price, the price is actually reflected up over here. So even before rendering the name emoji and price, I could now go ahead and I could check if the price of a particular fruit is greater than five. And if that's greater than five, only in that case, I would render that component. So to keep things simple, let's comment out this code for now. So I'll go ahead and select this entire thing. And in order to comment this, I will simply say, command or control and a forward slash and it's automatically going to comment that for us. All right. So in this particular list item, first of all, I'll go ahead and make a check if the price is greater than five. And we will be using the ternary JavaScript operator to perform this check. So as we are writing JS code in JSX, I'll make use of curly brackets here. I would say price greater than five. So I want to check if the price is greater than five, therefore I'll add a ternary operator here. So what it does is that it checks if price is greater than five, that is if this condition is true. And if that condition is true, it will execute the code, whatever code we write in front of it over here. So if this is the case, then we want to display the emoji name and the price. So what I would do here is that I would actually use a tag here in order to sort of combine them together. So let's use an H3 here and let's get this from here and let's paste it up over here. All right, so now if this condition is true, then it will kind of display this particular JSX or else what we want to do is if the price of the fruit is not greater than five, then we don't want to display anything. So in that case, we return an empty string like that. So we say colon an empty string. So what this logic does is that it already prints up all the fruits, but before printing up the fruit, it checks if the price is greater than five. If the price is greater than five, only then it will print the fruit details. And if the price of that particular fruit is not greater than five, then this ternary operator will actually skip this code and it will execute this code right here, which returns an empty string. So now let's save this. And as soon as I save this, Prettier actually formats this code for us and it actually adds parentheses over here around this code. All right, so if I save this and if I go back here to the fruits list, as you can see, we are getting two empty positions here. And that's because the list item is actually being rendered for them, but it's not actually displaying anything for those specific items. So one thing which you could do here is that you could actually shift these list items in here. So instead of H3s, you could actually cut this from here. I'll cut this and I could use it over here. And let's cut this LI and use it in place of this H3 tag right here. Now, if I save this, this won't work because the outermost part of the component does not have any tag. So in such cases, what you could do is you could simply add a div here you could cut this from here, paste it up over here. Now, if you save this, go back. Now, as you can see, you have a list of fruits here with only the fruits whose price is greater than five. Now, there's a little bit of problem here. And that problem is this fruits, which we have up over here, this is actually an unordered list. And inside that, we directly want the list items. But this time, we are enclosing this inside a div. Now, in order to solve this problem, there's one thing which you could use in React and that is fragments. So fragments are nothing but 
they are to be used whenever you don't want any kind of elements in there but you still want to sort of combine this entire thing as a single returned jsx so to use fragments you simply have to use such empty pairs like that and now what happens is if you save this if you go back this is still going to be rendered in a same way but now if you inspect this now you'll be able to find that in the body tag you will be able to find the app then a div unordered list and inside the unordered list you directly have allies over here whereas if you go ahead and if you replace this with divs what happens is it kind of adds divs to your list so with divs what happens is it adds a divs over here which is not what you want so you have an ordered list then you have a div and then inside that div you have a list item so if you don't want that you could simply go ahead and make use of fragments like that and now as you can see that problem is solved all right so this is how you could go ahead and conditionally render a list of objects depending upon a certain condition so in this particular case, we have filtered on the basis of the price here, but you could filter on the basis of any other property of the fruit which you have. So in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's add a new property to the fruits which we have. And let's try to conditionally render those fruits depending upon that property. So let's learn how to do that in the next one.